Oh, there we go. There we go. What's up, y'all? Today I've actually got a video that um, I forgot about from a couple months ago. I was fishing a little kayak tournament and um, get out and do some saltwater fishing on what I call bird skulls. And this isn't actually the real name. I know that's not a thing. I'm just stupid. But um, it's a really awesome way to fish. So you guys check out this clip. And at the end, I'll um, kind of break down what's going on. So stay tuned for that. Catch up with you in a second. Let's get on the water. Okay, guys, this is painful. So you see right here, we got this big flock of birds. They are diving on shrimp. There's probably almost guaranteed there's fish under them for sure, pushing these um, shrimp up. That's how they're diving on them. It's going to be probably trout. But usually there's not real big ones under these shrimp schools, but um you know right now it's most important just to make sure i've got that slam so this would be a good opportunity to get our trout problem is it's 551 we've got eight and a half minutes to line in so i've just got everything rigged up right here i'll be throwing a popping cork try to um you know sound like a fish blowing up in the water fish comes to investigate they see this little voodoo shrimp or add um you know some dr juice some scent on there but we've just got to wait here for another eight minutes and just watch these guys blow up before I can throw a line in. Ah, painful. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines in. See if we make something happen here. Getting hammered. Got our first fish. There we go, it is a trout. It is a little guy, but it is a trout. I'm gonna throw him on the measuring board really quick, get a very quick picture. So we can find a bigger one. Actually, what I'm gonna do is throw this back out here and just let this rest for a second while I get this picture. All right. All right, we got a pick. Let's get him back. We already got a fish on this other one. This one might be a little bit better. No, it came off, dang it. All right, let's get back in that school and see if we can find those bigger ones. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's a fish. This one might be a little bit better. Nope, he's smaller. He's smaller. That's a white trout. I ain't gonna do us no good. Get some count quick and get it back out there. Another small trout. Small stick. This one might be a little bit better, not much. So they're white. They swallowed it too, dang. I don't know why these guys are so much more likely to choke it down there, man. That is way down there. This one's a little bit better. Still not big, I don't think, but bigger than 10. Uh, he's foul hooked, but he is a little bit better. He's a little bit better. All right, get him back. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, he's still little. He hit hard. That's an upgrade though. I think that one looks closer to maybe over 13. We'll throw him on the board. We'll get a picture just in case. I'm not sure. He looks a little bit better. All right. Some dink. Little guy. I don't think he's over 12 and 3 quarters. I think he's going to be short. As you can see. Yeah, small. At least we're getting efficient now. They are just like boiled up here. I'm wondering if I could tie on some sort of large finfish imitation and that was as soon as they hit the water. Same size though, all cookie cutters. Actually this one's even smaller. Tiny. I don't know why the hookup ratios got so much better though. <laughs> At least they're getting the bait now. Oh come on, you could have just flipped that other kayak. Now I gotta dig around for you. Same size. If 
freaking bit off the tail of the shrimp. Everything. All right, so as you guys saw, that's pretty much like every cast non-stop action. So let me kind of explain what's going on there. You've got um, these big schools of shrimp that gather up at the mouth of these um, bay systems and kind of move through these um, areas, usually in the three to eight, nine foot depth range. And um, they're just cruising along all over the place out there. And the trout will get up on them. You know, the shrimp, they want to hang down on the bottom, but the trout will chase them and try to pin them on the bottom. So the shrimp to escape, they shoot up to the surface of the water, you know, and try to jump out of the water, just shoot out, running for their lives. And when they do that, um, you've got all these gulls that are constantly just circling around looking for um, an opportunity to feed. And so when they see these shrimp coming up, they'll start diving on them and they'll get grouped up in these big flocks. And so you have these big flocks of birds, um, usually gulls, like the ones you see at Walmart, like sea gulls, laughing gulls. Um, so you've got these big flocks and they gather up, um, eating on these shrimp that the trout are swallowed up and eating as well. So it's a really great indicator of, um, you know, knowing that there's going to be fish there busting on them. Now, sometimes they're not speckled trout. Um, the gaff top catfish will get really bad on them sometimes during the middle of the, you know, the summer months, but usually you do have trout on them. Now, as you saw, I didn't get any big ones. That's the con to it. You're not going to get a whole lot. It's a rare situation where you run into cases where you're catching a lot of good, you know, your over two pound trout and um, the birds and stuff like that. It's just, they're, they're there, but there's so many little ones, it's really hard to get them on. One thing you can try is going to a bigger bait. Um, you know, I was seeing, I was fishing that shrimp imitation, which will usually get you the most bites, but um, going with a bigger bait sometimes can get you bigger fish. Um, you don't want to throw a live bait into something like that. It's stupid because, you know, you're going to go through um, a bait every single cast and you can catch them just as well with artificial. So that's just wasteful if you're throwing live bait, but throw on, you know, a shrimp or something under pop and cork. Um, swim bait, it really doesn't matter. Just don't throw a top water or anything with treble hooks because the birds will start diving on that and you will catch birds, which is not fun. But um, anyways, um, yeah, that's a really fun way to fish. Uh, most of the time, really productive in our area in the mobile bay system, um, you know, kind of throughout the spring to fall. Um, but the best times are definitely mid spring and especially right now getting into the beginning of the fall. But um, yeah, that's, that's about it. That's what I've got for you guys today. So if you like this style of content, um, let me know. It's a little bit different than what I'll typically do. But um, yeah, I appreciate it, guys, and sticking with me through the whole thing. Um, thank you.